Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the WhatsApp Accessible app for Grid 3. WhatsApp is our latest accessible app, which integrates this popular messaging platform into Grid 3 without the need for any additional software. All you'll need is a smartphone with the WhatsApp app installed. So to add the grid set, from Grid Explorer, just go to Menu, Add Grid Sets, and Accessible Apps, and then scroll down to WhatsApp, select it, click Next, and then OK. From the Start Grid, you can click on Info to get some hints and tips on how to use the app. The first time you open the grid set, you'll need to follow the instructions to scan the QR code with your phone to link it with your account. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm clicking menu in my WhatsApp app, going to WhatsApp web, clicking on plus and now scanning the QR code. So you only need to link your account to your phone the first time. After that, you won't need to touch the phone again. It just needs to be switched on and online when using the grid set. You can navigate between different chats with the cells on the left. And once you've chosen one, use the cells on the right to read and send messages. The currently selected chat and message are always highlighted. I can have grid read messages aloud to me. and I can view messages which aren't text-based by using the view media cell. So if I go up to this GIF here, if I want to see that GIF animated, I would go to view media and then the top cell open photo or video or GIF. And you can see that we then see the animation. If I now select a different chat, so I'll go down to Anita. And this time we'll look at how to view a photo. So if I go up to this one, and then again use the view media cell and open photo, then we get into the photo gallery view. And here I can scroll through all the photos and so on in that particular chat. I'm going to move to a different chat now. Jim. And in this one, I've been sent a voice message. So again, I would go to view media. And this time I would choose play voice message. Hi Trevor, just a quick uh, voice message to test out the um, audio voice playback in WhatsApp. Bye. And in this chat, I've also been sent a link to a YouTube video. So if I select that, go to view media, and then I select open YouTube link. Here I can watch the video full screen and when I'm done with it, jump back into WhatsApp. I can always forward that video to someone. So again, with that message selected, I choose forward and start typing a name. Just a couple of letters is usually enough. Then I can use the up and down cells to highlight the person I want to forward that to, and then select and forward message. And that's been sent. So you can scroll up and down your chats with the arrows here, but sometimes you might have to scroll a long way to get to a particular contact. And in that case, it would be quicker to search. And in that case, again, you just need to type a couple of letters and then use the arrows 
to select the contact that you're looking for. So, so far we've looked at reading messages and viewing different types of media that are embedded in those messages. To send a message, I can just simply click on type. I can type my message here. And if I wanted to add an emoji, could jump to this grid. There are two grids of emojis there. And when I'm ready, click send. I can also send a GIF. So if I go to send GIF, what I need to do is search for the the GIF that I want by typing the first few letters of the search term. So if I want to send a happy GIF, I'll type that and then I can go to GIF Chooser and that will let me navigate between these search results and choose the GIF that I want to send. Like so. I can also send a photograph, a message. So if I click on send photo or video, I can jump into the photos that I've already taken that are stored on my device, or I can go to camera to take a new photograph. and then I can select that photograph and that will be sent like that. Another way of sending a message is to use our quick message grid. So if I go to the keyboard and then to quick messages, we have a list of phrases here that you can just quickly send to someone and and the messages on this grid can be edited. So you can rem remove a message or you can add in a new Hi. There. and that's now saved in my list and to send one I would just simply select it from this grid and send. So you can do the most commonly used functions from this top grid but we do have some more tools if you click on more and you can see here that we can zoom in and out. Um, we can delete messages. You can leave a group. You can toggle to dark mode. Or back again. Um, and you can also log out if you need to log out for privacy reasons. You can also jump straight to the most recent message in a chat by using the jump to end cell. And lastly, we can create a new group as well here. So I'm going to do that now. So the first thing I need to do is select who's going to be in this group. So I need to have the person highlighted and then select add member. And then we'll add someone else as well. And once we've got all the people in the group that we want, we create the group and give it a name. So let's just call it test group for now. And done. And you can see that that group is there now and I can message them. So the grid set is available as a standalone accessible app and also in a large cell version. And it's also integrated into Fast Talker and Fast Talker Large Cell too. We hope you enjoy using the grid set. 
and if you have any questions do feel free to get in touch via our Facebook community or contact our support team in the usual ways.